This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your five. Wake your fuck ass up. Sway in the morning, Shave 4 5. Gives me great honor to have our next guest here, Heather B. Tell me why. Sometimes you got to acknowledge, you know, when, when there are great people out there, great women or great men that have done great things that have impacted culture or, or community um, in, in a positive way, uh, sometimes we don't give credit due to how they got here in the first place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, in this case, an instance, man, there's a, 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 a young man um, who was with us for, I say, a short time, but in that time period, he was able to influence a lot of people in Northern California and beyond uh, with his music, um, his style, his life, um, his movement. Um, a lot of folks uh, may not, if you weren't there, realize the impact he made. I happened to be there. I happened to be a part of that movement, working on KMEL at the time, the uh, radio station in Northern California, uh, when Thiz Entertainment, very own Mac Dre, uh, was making his name and making his mark in the game. Um, as we know, he has since, since um, he's no longer with us. But his spirit continues, Heather B. Right. In 2016, we talk about Mac Dre. We play his music like yes. he just came out the studio last week. Right. You know, which is a testament to what he did as an artist because that music is now considered classic. And, um, well, we got his mother here. And sometimes we don't acknowledge the parents of the kids that have done great things. The one and only Wanda, Mac Wanda, is here. Hey. How you doing, hey, Mac Wanda? I'm doing very well. Thank get, you. get up on that mic. You know what to do with that. You okay. taught him. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, uh, Wanda, uh, Mac Wanda. Who, who called? Who named you Mac Wanda? He did, Mac he, Dre. Yeah, did he really? He named me that. Yeah, just out of the blue, we were doing an interview one day, and he introduced me. This is Mac Wanda. <laughs> and so you became a Mac. Uh, yeah, and when he <laughs> when he was in trouble, he'd say Mac Wanda. Mac Wanda. <laughs> he'd say Mac Wanda. Mac Wanda when he was in trouble. <laughs> so, so he would call you instead of saying mother. He would say. Mac Wanda. Mac Wanda. Mac Wanda. Mac Wanda. Mm -hmm. Did you like that initially? <laughs> no, I didn't initially because uh, it was like I said, it was when he was in trouble and he was trying to get away with something, and it would put a smile on my face. Uh huh. But uh, but it caught on, and I got used to it, and now I use it. So it's I'm Mac Wanda. You Mac Wanda. <laughs> I'm Mac Sway. You know, <laughs> you know HB. You want to be Mac Heather B. <laughs> Wanda, Mac HB. Mac HB, HB Mac Tracy. Oh, well, no, nah, Tracy's not a Mac. Damn, um, son. All right, I'll earn it. When, 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 when Mac Dre was with us, um, did, when, when did you know he was going to move in the direction of becoming an artist? How old was he? Um, you know, it, for me, it, it took a minute because, I, I, you know, he was rapping and he was doing the music turntables and all of that, and mm. I wasn't really paying attention. I thought he was doing it because... You know, as a hobby, as something fun, and I wasn't really paying that much attention until I saw him on stage. Yeah. You know, um, he did that high school high school talent show in Vallejo, and that's when I really realized that this was for real. This was he was an artist. Mm -hmm. That's when I first realized. Yeah, that he wasn't just a rapper. He was. He was an entertainer. He was an entertainer. He was an entertainer. Yes. Okay. Um. I, I first caught wearing with the, uh, I want to say with Young Black Brothers, I think the EP that came out in the, probably about the late 80s. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. and then uh, California Living came out in the early 90s. And I remember this because at that time I was on, when Young Black Brother came out, I wasn't on radio. But when California Living came out, I was on radio. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were playing a, well, I won't say we were playing a lot of his music because we were fighting to play a lot of his music because at that time it was hard to get any type of rap especially local rap on a p1 station like yeah. uh, came in you remember those struggle times yeah and underground rap especially and especially the stuff that he was rapping about yeah because you know he like he said he was too hard for the too radio. hard for the radio right yeah he was too hard for the radio at that time so mm -hmm. what did you think about the subject matter and his lyrics and in, in the, in the, in the stories and in in what it portrayed at that as a mom well in the beginning um in in the beginning it was cute, but then when he started getting serious and start started getting political, like with yeah. the police, mm -hmm. that was scary because mm -hmm. you know he started getting really political and he started naming names of police officers and you know um, bleep the police and mm -hmm. you know 
um, that's when it got scary. That, um, but you know, that's that was his expression. That was yeah. you know what he was going through, and that was his story. Yeah. So you know, I just had to go along with it. Although I would advise him and say, okay, you know what this is going to bring you. You know what's going to happen now. And sure enough, you know, it brought a lot of attention to yeah. FBI, police, because you know he was calling them out yeah and that was like in the early 90s he was calling the police out mm -hmm. and imagine what they do now when you call them out so back then you you know like you said he couldn't spit on the sidewalk yeah so and, and, they, and they, they'll be on him and you start noticing like um when did you start noticing like were y'all being monitored or surveyed by fbi and police yeah i mean we would see you know police just cruising through the neighborhood and and you know the neighborhood i lived in was pretty quiet but they would cruise through real slow by the house mm -hmm. and you know and andre would say there they go there they go mm -hmm. and you know I, I you know it made me nervous but you know what could you do that what? was that was his that was his thing that was his job that was his job he was determined i mean and that's the thing about it when somebody has a passion to do something then they're determined nothing gets in the way and that's something i learned from him yeah because you know he he let nothing get in the way he let it, it was like he was on a mission. Yeah. And he knew, you know, what he, he had to do. He knew what he had to do. It was interesting at that time, too, because, you know, once the police and FBI got involved and then the news cycle, you know, news channels got involved and then he started becoming implicated in all of these different the bank robbery crimes. Right. You know, like, when you first started hearing about that, did you sit him down and talk to him about it or what did you think? Yeah, I most definitely did. Um, as a matter of fact, um, there was. A, a day I was at work and there was a robbery and um, you know they implicated his friends and him and the I remember, room gang. Yeah, yeah. And I, I remember I was devastated and I remember I got off for lunch and the first thing I did was I got in my car and I called him and I said and I was crying and I was screaming and I said tell me you didn't have anything to do with this tell me you didn't he didn't even know about it and I said Andre a bank just got robbed robbed they named you and he said, Mama, I swear. And the way he said it, okay, when you're a mother and when your child says either they did or they didn't, as a mother, you know yeah. in your gut, yeah. you know if they're guilty or not. Mm -hmm. you, you may not say it out loud, but you know. And I knew that he wasn't. Mm -hmm. I knew because it was just, I, I just knew. Um, but, you know, it just... It wasn't a story without Mac Dre. It, yeah. it, you know, they had to make it big. And, and it was his crew, you know, and they mm -hmm. admitted to this day. It was his crew. So um, we talked about, you know, your associates and the consequences of who you hang out with and all of that. But like I said, he was Mac Dre and he was on a mission. He was on a mission. He was on a mission. Um, when, he, when, he, when, he, um, when he was taken from us, um, what, what was he at that time? What was he doing? Where, what was he doing with his career and what was he... Uh, doing where he was do you know uh well he had done the five years for the conspiracy yeah. and he came out with a new lease on life he had been locked up for five years so he came out with this appreciation for life and for fun and for um positivity so his the style of his music kind of changed that's mm -hmm. when it changed um he was out doing a lot of shows and he liked being out with people um, he was in Kansas City, so he was out. You know, he had started Thiz Entertainment, and yeah. you know, he his attitude and his outlook had just changed, and so he was, you know, a new beginning for him. Yeah. So it was just when you know he he had hit that stage where he had become a man. He had learned a lot while he was um, locked up, and he was ready. He had a business plan and everything, and he was ready to execute. Mm -hmm. And so, and then that's when it happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's when. And what year was that about? That was in 04, 2004. 2004. Mm -hmm. um, and and so and since then, 2004, which was what the hell, 12 years ago. Right. Um, we have not stopped mentioning his name. We have not stopped mentioning his music, his movement. We've seen spe TV specials on him that you know folks looked at it and go, "Oh, damn! I didn't realize all of this." You know, and so the brand equity in his name has sustained. It's probably even gotten larger. Yeah, and the funny thing about that is I um, was hurt, you know, of mm -hmm. course, after. So I tried to suppress it and yeah. didn't want to talk about it. It wasn't going to be involved. And, you know, for for actually for the last 10 years, you know, I kind of hid myself in work. 
and um, people just kept coming at me and calling and coming and asking for interviews and wanting to do stories and you know and I kept saying it's going to go away it's going to go away but it only got bigger and bigger and bigger and look now I'm in New York, Sirius XM yeah. on the Sway oh, Show. Yo, yo, yeah. You blowing up, Magwanda. <laughs> this is it right here. Um, I want to come back because this is a documentary called Legend of the Bay. It's about Max Ray, Magwanda's executive producer. Mm-hmm. Um, and you mentioned how it just kept growing and growing and people kept coming to you. But it was one person in particular, I don't want to say that, that person's name yet, that helped triggered uh, the execution of this this um, documentary as we know it today. And you may not believe who it was. We're going to come back and talk about that. And if you want to talk with Mac Wanda, the mother of Mac Dre, 888-742-3345. Oh, the best ever. Yeah, man. That's from a, a, a clip from the documentary. It's called Legend of the Bay. We got Mac Wanda here. Yes. Mac Dre's mom is here. Uh, Legend of the Bay is a documentary. We've been talking about a, a little bit about his life Uh we don't want to say everything because a lot you can learn through the through the documentary, correct? And um, and it's been really amazing how we still speak about folks who impacted us, you know, so many years ago, mm-hmm. um, and how to to this day we still talk about their legacy. But there was one person um, in particular that that talked to you about your son and the influence that your son had on him as a as a kid and as an artist that made you turn around and say, you know what? I need to embrace all of this energy, monetize it, and make sure I manage the narrative of my son and his legacy, correct? Absolutely correct. I, um, one Sunday, I was laying on the couch watching TV, and I got a phone call, and somebody said, um, and I forgot who, who it was that contacted me. I think it was Molly Mall, and he said, um, Drake wants to talk to you, and I was like, Drake, this is this is a prank call. Why are you guys? I, I'm taking a nap. Why are you guys bothering me? <laughs> yeah, you know. And then and then he said, "For real, Drake wants to talk to you." And I said, "Okay, put him on the phone." So Drake gets on the phone and says hello and introduces himself. And he said, "I'm in San Francisco and I'm working on um, a video." And he said, "I'd like to meet you." And I was like, "Really? Okay, all right." And so. He gave me the information where he was, and I hung up the phone, and I thought, damn, I got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it be real like that, the naps. <laughs> I got to get up and go to San Francisco because, you know, my head still wasn't in the game. So I called a couple of people, and I said, okay, I just got a phone call from Drake, and he's in the city, and he wants me to come. And everybody's like, nah, nah. And I said, no, for real, really. And so um, I called a girlfriend of mine because nobody really believed it. So yeah. I called a girlfriend of mine from work, and we got in the car, and we drove to the city, and I uh, went to the uh, to a hotel in San Francisco. I forgot the name of the hotel. And um, so we pull up. The two of us just pull up, you know, at the hotel. And all these people come outside, this entourage of people. And they shuffle me up the elevator and, 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 and as if I'm, like, somebody important. And I'm in the elevator. And, uh-huh. and, and I go up, and there's Drake just, like, praying hands and mm-hmm. hugging and uh-huh. And we embraced, and when we embraced, we hugged. It was like we had known each other forever. Yeah. It was just wow. the weirdest feeling. You know, Drake is just this really, um, I don't know how to describe it, but this really passionate kind of nice, very nice young man. Mm-hmm. And um, then he started telling me the story. He, he sat me down on the couch. He just started talking to me about when he was 12, 13, 14. He said the only rap he listened to was Mac Drake because that was in Canada. That was all they could get a hold to. A hold of and then he started explaining to me how that inspired him to be himself and to do you know what he felt like he wanted to do with with rap music and he went on and on and on and I have pictures of me looking at him like really <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at him like really yeah. <laughs> my son Mac Dre and he was like and he went on and on and I thought wow okay so then um, he said, I'd like you to be in my video. And I said, well, I'm not a video diva. I don't, I don't do any of that. You wasn't going to twerk. I, that, that twerking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I don't, I don't do that. So I don't know what you would want me to do in a video. <laughs> and, <laughs> this is great. And then he said, do whatever you want to do. Just do whatever you want to do. And I thought, okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll talk to Andre. I'll mm-hmm. talk to him. And he said, okay, if that's what you want to do. And they sat me down on the couch and I just started talking to Andre. I just said, Andre, if you only knew 
what was going on right now, what you got me into, <laughs> who I was sitting with, where I was. I said, if you only knew. I said, but it's okay. I said, because I got this. Mm. Yeah. I told him, I got this. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that, that clip was put in the introduction of um, one of Drake's hits, The Motto. The Motto. Yeah. Wow, man. That Wow. That's a that's an amazing story. Isn't Absolutely. that? That's an amazing story. And, and and you don't always find artists who come back to give back to those who gave to them. Right. And so you can appreciate that about Drake, right? Yeah, yeah. and and you know, and when Drake and I and I told him I said, "Drake, do you realize you're the hottest thing on in music right now?" I said, "Every other song on the radio is Drake." And he said, "Really?" Is it boring? I said, no, it's not boring. I said, it's good. I said, it's a good thing. Um, I said, but for you to acknowledge my son like that is just huge. And he said, no, no, the pleasure is all mine. So, you know, very humble and, and turning it back to Mac Dre, giving all the credit to Mac Dre. So. Yeah. Well, you know, I think, too, for the Bay, you know how we are in the Bay when people borrow energy from us if they don't give credit we we going to strip yeah. you we going to trip strip you of your skin Ooh. you know and what i appreciate about drake is that always. He, he he's always giving credit yeah and it wasn't know. that one time you know yeah. he still does it he just last week he did something about a bobblehead and he you know he was talking about a Mac Dre bobblehead and he said again shout out to Wanda you know to this mm-hmm. day he's still doing it so it wasn't a one time thing yeah. and a lot of times the fans and especially people from the bay always say you know Drake, Drake, not from the Bay. He's whatever, whatever. And I, you know, I've had to tell fans, please. He appreciated Mac Dre, so let's just give him the credit for that. You know, he mm-hmm. gives credit all the time. So, you know, let's show love to to Drake. He's he's you know. Yeah, he brought a lot of, and he brought an added attention. Right, uh, right. Added spotlight to the Bay. Bay already got light, but added spotlight. Speaking of the um, Bay, I just want you to be careful sitting next to have the B right right Uh-oh. here you know that Wanda. We, me and you already yeah, established we, exactly. love when we, we walked in the building we, yeah. we want some whole other food and, and right. but you tell the whole truth right. Warriors. How, we, she and I talked about Instagram and how you take pictures and don't show your face just show what you do she said yeah so say I learned something today okay, from okay, Heather okay. I was doing so, I was doing game and this morning he wants to what, what, what his sore spot is Wanda is you know he's a diehard Bay fan you know the Oakland Warrior uh, Oak, you said it right the Oakland uh, Oak, <laughs> Oakland Warriors. Oakland Warriors, <laughs> yeah. you know, they had a, they yeah, had, they they had, had a, a, a situation. I won't even, right. and this yeah. is how I spoke about it this morning because I do sports here as well. And so, you know, I have theme music. D- DJ Wonder here is one of the producers of the show. So instead of rubbing it in, I just had my theme music played. <laughs> Wanda, don't laugh at that. <laughs> you from the Bay. What are you doing? Wanda, stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> so Heather, what, I'm not laughing. So what, Heather, don't look at me. <laughs> so Wanda, this, this is, that, that's, that's what it is. It's all right, an issue. All right. Okay. All right. So you know what? Ever since, ever since that one game, all the men in the Bay have just been crying. It's like, okay, oh, please. man. Stop. Cr- everywhere I go, they're crying about the game. I mean, I'm a fan too, but stop crying. I'm not crying. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little perplexed. That's all, Wanda. Um, <laughs> That's a. Let's get back to the what we came here to do. All right. Ah. Now, did I make the doc? I, I flew out to the bay because I wanted to be a part of the doc too. Did I make it? So so okay, Sway. Oh. And, and, Yo! I gotta give it up to you too because this documentary <laughs> wouldn't be the documentary that it is without you narrating this documentary. So I want to. Oh, wow. I want to thank, thank you thank very you. much. Absolutely. He narrated this. That's Absolutely. excellent. Yeah, thank he you. came all the way to. Um, to the Bay Area and narrated the documentary. Yeah, yeah. So thank okay. you. So I made it. Legend of the okay, Bay. Okay, thank you very Sway. much. Mac Drake. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, and your name, and you got a credit. Speaking of credit, credit, it says What's the credit? director credit? Zachary Butler, narration. Sway, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. okay. Swizzy. Good. Swizzy, Swig- Swiggity, did he put Swiggity? Uh, no, you just, <laughs> he didn't put my other alias? The, no, okay, no, no, okay. You don't want to use them all in one shot. No, no, you know, it, it, it's Swiggity, one of the Swiggity, really? That's the, yeah, well, that's the D-ray, off, that's you got the, that? D-ray? That's the off that's mic. That's the name he go low with. Well, that's, that's when I go get low, low with that name. Swiggity oh, okay. at the door, yeah. Swiggity. <laughs> um, this is really great. What and, and and this doc is out right now. So you guys, it's available, uh, right? Is it on iTunes? It's on iTunes, Amazon. Uh, you can go to the website legendofthebay.com and 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 download it and stream it for life. Um, it's in uh, some of the record stores. Um, yeah, it's it's out. It's, it's out. Just, All right. And and this is one of I'm 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 assuming a few things you plan on uh, to, to do 
right with the uh, with the company now that you've done this you're gonna have to keep following up now wanda what's next well see this is this is the thing so okay so once i got you know juiced and everything and said okay i guess you know what if i can't beat it just go ahead and join it just go with it go with the flow and just mm-hmm. do it so this is one of my first projects so this documentary because i wanted to kind of tell tell the story about andre from my perspective yeah versus you know the negative police fbi that old story yeah okay so this is the real story mm-hmm. um and so you know and then i started thinking i i, I kind of changed and added another name to the company so it's this entertainment slash andre lewis enterprises because mm. i thought because he's andre lewis mm-hmm. um and so as i do things you know um in, in recognition of him um, you know, I'm adding it to instead of Thiz Entertainment to Andre Lewis to, mm-hmm. in dedication of him. And so D Ray and I talk a lot. So D Ray is my partner in crime and, and she calls herself managing me. Okay. Um, and so she's got me she's got me working, thinking about all kinds of stuff. She's she's you need to get some artists and you need to do this and you need to do that. And so um, those will be Andre Lewis projects. Okay. Okay. That so, makes yeah, sense. We're, we're, well, we're, some, sometimes God gotta put place people in your life to you know you didn't want to do it mentally you were someplace else with it and God has to put the right people around you to help bring forth the things and the purposes that need to be fulfilled and it sounds like if she, if she wasn't there you kind of would have still been laying on that couch yeah she kind of just swooped me up and, and, and rescued me and, and I've been on the road ever since Amen. that's what's up Amen. you're right she I've gets been on busy the road ever since. Hey, yeah. is there um any unreleased Mac Dre music that we haven't heard yeah, you know, I get calls all the time, and I get, you know, notes in my Instagram, my DM saying, you know, I got these lyrics, I got this, I got, you know, this stuff that I did with Andre, and what do you want to do with it, and girlfriends have stuff, there's stuff all over the place, so... Um, you Girlfriends. Know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I keep that. You know, I, wow. Martha, I loved your son. I loved that he wrote this about me. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, I'm different. Any, any kids pop up? No, it was just one daughter. Just He's got one a daughter? daughter, Janae. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Oof. I know. Nice. I, they're really nice. That'd be yeah. Lined up Janae. With yeah, that's DVD. Yeah, yeah no. Right. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Just Janae. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Um, but anyway, and they're holding on. People are like hoarding stuff. They yeah. call me and give me these little tidbits, but then that's it. Yeah. So we'll see. You'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, we have um, Diedrich on the line from Boston. Diedrich, what up, man? Poppin'? Tell her to Mac Wanda. This is Mac Dre's mother. Hello, how you doing, Miss Wanda? I'm doing well. How are you? Man, I, I'm doing. I'm doing wonderful. Speaking to you, man. I just want to let you know. That I'm from Boston, but I have family in Oakland, San Leandro, out in Hayward, and I used to visit every summer. And there was one year my cousin was playing one of them trill, one of the trills like DVDs. Mm-hmm. And Mac Dre said I could talk a fly off a piece of Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I went home next to my grandmother's house that day, and I downloaded every Mac Dre I could. <laughs> Got my grandmother all type of viruses. And, they, and, and and back home in Boston, I try to influence Mac Dre all day. I got my ringtone is in motion. Oh, and that's every, one of my every favorites. Day, all yeah. day, yeah. That's all I do is run out to Mac Dre, man. I just want to tell you, man, pleasure just speaking to you. Wow, that's hey, well, Dietrich, you're a citizen. Let's well, wait in the morning. F- f- thank you for that. And you know what? In motion is one of my favorites. You know that was recorded when he was uh, in prison. Yeah, it was recorded. Wow. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorites. Um, hey Dietrich, thanks thanks for your call, man. Uh, we got Frank, who's actually um, let's go to Ohio before I get to Frank. Um, Brandon, what up, man? Hey Brandon. Hey, how you doing? I'm Idaho by way of New Orleans. Oh, what Idaho, my, my man, my hey, man. Yeah. So I wanted to share a little um, a little fact for Mama. Um, Mac Wanda LLC LLC yourself, and that way you can um contract yourself under um your son's label and keep all the money in the family. You know what I mean? Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a good tip. Thank yeah. you for that. Okay. So, you jotting that down? So, so LLC, uh, Mac Wanda. She'll tell me later. Trust Mac Wanda. Okay. Yeah. LLC. LLC. Oh, okay. okay. I like that. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anybody try to take that, we coming after you. Word. Okay. It ain't going to be easy. All right. We got Frank on the line from the Bay. Big Frank. Yo, yeah. Frank. Go for it. What's going on, Slay? What's going on? What's up, man? I hey, saved you, know, you for last. 
All right, good looking, Sway. Right. So, M Mac Dre is a true trendsetter. I mean, I was a young man going into the Navy, and I made sure I bought all my Mac Dre CDs and tapes on this ship. And I had the whole ship, naval ship, officers included, reciting Mac Dre. Wow. I mean, we were, we're in this ship barbershop. I mean, that whole Pearl Harbor base. Mac J just spread it across, and they used to love that man in, in uh, Hawaii. And the thing is, Mac Dre back in the in the Bay, where I'm currently at, born and raised, I'm a juvenile hall counselor, and these kids idolize him. He was gone before most of them was even born, yeah. and he's like the Bay. He's like the Bay Area Buddha. That's what I mean. Idolize. They idolize him. When you go to their home, you still see like shrines of Mac Dre, mm -hmm. and you question these kids. What do they know about B Mac Dre? And that they respond is he's just bigger than life. They still follow his trends to today, and wow. these kids they, they were never alive when Mac Dre was alive. So what I got to say is just long live Dre. His light is stronger than ever. We keep it lit. I mean, I'm way in, in, I'm in Livermore right now, and these kids can recite every lyric. And, I mean, his life is just larger than life. Wow. Even in Long Park, even in Long Park with my father, Long Park Federal Penitentiary, he had that glow, like Bruce Leroy in the yard. Hey, Frank, man, thanks for your call, man. You're a citizen. This way in the morning? Livermore is a city, Heather, when you, outside of the, outside of, um, we going towards the Delta Stockton area where we go to fish. Okay. You know, uh, towards the valley mm -hmm. side, uh, away from the bay. Mac Wanda is here. Hey, uh, thank you for letting yeah. me be a part of the project and then coming on the show. And then. Um, well, you know, Sway, we called you and you just like, no hesitation. You were like, of course, of course I'll do it. Of course I'm going to narrate that. So, hey, that was like, again. That's one of those signs to me like, okay, Sway mm -hmm. said, of course. Wow. You know? Well, you know, I, I got a, man, I was there. You know, yeah. I was yeah. right in the middle of, of the, the entire movement, you know, and um, we didn't know what was happening then, you know, but in retrospect, you know, I could look back and go, it was some magic taking place in mm -hmm. the Bay Area. Right. And he was a big, major part of that magic, you know, 40 uh, Kyrie, mm -hmm. you know, we had them all up here, Layla Steinberg, you know, all these folks from that side of the bay. Um, it was yeah. just, yeah. Um, yeah, and, I, and you know, and I, I just want to say uh, thank you to, um, there are quite a few people that have encouraged me and had my back, and they just, they in the bay, I'm telling you, they look out for me. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, everybody from Kilo Kurt, Jay Diggs, um, you know, uh, just, the they the Thiz Nation. The Thiz the, the Nation. Nation. You know, they it's growing into Thiz Latin and, and Gold Tolls and all these people. It's like everywhere I go, you know, I, I have no fear, you know, mm -hmm. going anywhere because I'm telling you, they got me. They they got yeah. my back. They There's royalty love. out there. Yeah. You royalty everywhere. Mac Wanda, That's ladies love. and gentlemen. And you got a social media too, if y'all want to hit her directly. Um I'm on Instagram is the Mac Wanda. The, the Mac M A C Wanda, W-A-N-D-A. -A. Thank you for coming by. You guys, make sure you get the doc. Mac Dre, Legend of the Bay. Uh, you can go to iTunes, look for it, um, support it. And we're looking forward to more uh, from you, Mac Wanda, and D-Ray. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming by. Up next, uh, we got a young lady that um, I'm actually in business with. And she's going to come up here and talk about the business we started. Really, I'm um, what, what you call a, a cultural VC, Heather B., a cultural venture capitalist. Oh, That's what VC stand for. So yeah. I invest in things on a small degree. <laughs> uh, and Jordana Brewer Johnson is up next. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 or 5. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shade 45.